kids, it's Pastor Amanda here. From the Northern Lights to the Great Barrier Reef, this world is full of incredible, wonderful things that God has made. All throughout the month of August, we looked at some of those wonderful things and we looked at the book of Psalms. And the book of Psalms tells us all about how incredible, amazing, and wonderful our Creator God truly is. Okay, so I have an activity for you today. It's a little bit of a challenge, okay? So how many of you enjoy journaling or writing? Show me your hands if you like journaling or writing. I personally love it. I realize it's not everybody's thing, so if you're not a big writer, if you're not that into journaling, feel free to draw this challenge instead, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to go grab some paper, some pens, crayons, whatever you feel like you need to either journal, write, or draw, or both. You could totally do both if you want. So take a moment, pause the video, and go get everything you need for that. Hey, you got everything you need? Amazing. So what I'm gonna get you to do is I'm gonna give you some journal ideas, okay? So I'm gonna give you three ideas. After I give each idea, you're either going to write your journal, you're gonna draw your picture, you're gonna do both, you're gonna get creative with it, so feel free to do what you like. Um, but after I give each idea, we're gonna pause the video and you're gonna take time to complete the challenge. Sound good? Okay. Here's your first idea. I want you to write or draw about a time where you felt like you had very little or no hope. I don't know about you, but sometimes it can be really hard to have hope and sometimes things can feel really discouraging and you feel like you just have no hope at all. I've totally felt that way. If I'm being honest with you guys, I have felt that way before in my life. But there's one thing I know that the Bible teaches and that I've seen to be proven true about God in my own life, is that He is so much more wonderful and amazing and capable and powerful than we could ever imagine. And that fills me with hope. And we can worship God by putting our hope in God. Okay, here is our second journal idea. I want you to write or draw about a way that you can ask for God's help. There have been so many times in my life where I've asked God help, God for help because I there have been situations and just moments of doubt where I've truly just I've felt so dependent on God to show up in my life or help me in my situation or whatever it is I felt like I needed at that time. But God doesn't dislike that. God loves when we ask for his help. God loves when we turn to him and he loves to help us. So we can worship God by asking God for help. Are you ready for our last journal idea? Here it is, third one, final one. I want you to write or draw about a time when God answered your prayer or a time that God answered the prayer of somebody that you know. So I have a really cool story about an answered prayer actually from last week, okay? So my husband Michael and I, we were driving in our car and my husband was praying silently to himself like I didn't know what was going on, you know, I can't read his mind. So I didn't know what he was praying about. And then all of a sudden he starts acting really weird. And I look at him and I'm like, what is going on? Like what's wrong? What's happening? And he's like, I'm not even kidding. Like five minutes ago, I was praying for God to show me a rainbow 
to show me that someone that I really love is okay. They're in heaven with God and they're okay. I asked God to show me a rainbow if that was the case. And there was a rainbow beyond the trees. I couldn't see it at first, but I'm gonna show you a video right now of the rainbow so that you could see it because it was huge. It was a big double rainbow. It was so beautiful and it happened right after Michael was praying that. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I wanted to share that with you guys. But, you know, sometimes we have moments like that where it feels like God answers our prayers and he answers them like right away. And sometimes we have moments where we feel like God isn't answering our prayers or is saying no to our prayers. Or maybe you felt like God isn't listening to you. I can assure you that he is. What I can't give you all the answers for is why God doesn't seem to answer our prayers in the ways that we sometimes want him to. But we can worship God by remembering the things that God has already done for us. And we can worship God by remembering the things that he has done in the lives of people that we love and trust. So in our series, Wonderful, we talked all about how wonderful our creator God is. And I, this is my opinion, but I personally think one of the coolest things that God made in nature are waterfalls. I love waterfalls. I think they're so pretty. They're so cool. Have you ever seen a really beautiful waterfall? They're pretty special, right? Have you ever went swimming next to a waterfall? That's a cool experience. I really enjoy that. I've never been swimming next to like a huge waterfall. Like didn't go swimming in Niagara Falls or anything, but I've been swimming next to little waterfalls and they're very cool. Now, have you ever looked at waterfalls and wondered how were they made? How did this waterfall get here? Well, I am going to show you. Waterfalls are formed as a result of something called erosion. So erosion happens when water, like a very large amount of water, hits like rocks or something like that, and it changes the shape um, of the structure. So like if you think of a cliff, a cliff is super like rugged. It's not like always perfectly smooth. It's the result of erosion. It just, the, the massive amounts of water hitting up against the cliff just eats away at the rock, pounds away at the rock and makes it kind of change and move. So what I have here is some sand. I got some shells here to line my little riverbed. So I made a little riverbed here with my finger, okay? So what do you think is gonna happen when I add a bunch of water to my riverbed? Let's see. All right, so we're starting to see some of the sand is starting to move. Some of the sand is starting to move. It's packed in pretty tight there, but you could see it's like coming loose at some of these places. And that's kind of how waterfalls are formed. A big amount of water comes down through a riverbed and over time, the rock starts to shift and form and come apart, like you can see pieces of sand floating here. It's coming apart because of the massive amount of water that was added to it. So that's kind of how waterfalls happen. Okay, so with my little riverbed that I made here, um, it didn't happen right away. It does take time, and that's a very key thing. But with my little riverbed here, you could see that the water is starting to erode the sand, like the sand's starting to lift from like its hard pile because of the amount of water that was put on it. and. If we leave this for another little while, then like the sand is gonna continue to lift even more and it's, uh, the sand is gonna continue to change its shape and it's gonna look different than before the water hit it, okay? And we're a little bit like that in a way. We're a little bit like rocks and God's a little bit like water <laughs> in the way that God changes us over time. God has the ability to transform us over time. God has the ability to help us become more like him over time, which is really incredible. So if you picture, imagine every good thing in the world, kindness, generosity, uh, laughter, all of these good things that make life amazing, they're all because of God, which is really, really, really very, very cool. And 
God can only change us and transform us as we allow him to and as we open ourselves up to allow God to do that. So we can worship God by living for God. We can worship God by living the way that God would love to see us live. God doesn't want to see us being greedy or mean. God wants us to laugh and have fun and treat people with respect and to show love to other people, to show kindness to people that maybe a lot of other people aren't kind to. That's what God has called us to. Okay, I really want you guys to remember that God can do exceedingly, abundantly, immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine. That God is truly wonderful and amazing and he's so good to us and we are grateful for that. So one way we can worship together right now that you can worship God on your own is by praying. So usually I pray for you at the end of these videos, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be silent for a few moments and you guys are gonna pray at home, okay? So I want you to start praying to God and showing your worship to God through prayer in three, two, one. Amen. That's amazing. I couldn't hear your prayers, but I can tell you who loves to hear your prayers, and that's God. God loves hearing your prayers. He loves listening to your prayers, and remember that He is so wonderful and so amazing, more amazing than we could ever even imagine, which is really, really cool. He truly is wonderful, my friends. All right, kids, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.